Hi there. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to use mathematical functions in our programming language. So let's first open our studio. Now create one R script. You will have your R script editor. Here I'm going to show you how to get absolute value of any number. So let me just type absolute value and for this we make use of function apps okay and I'm gonna pass minus 5 as its value okay let's try and execute this to find out how this function finds absolute value and as you can see absolute value of minus 5 is 5 now there is one more function that you can try which is exponential so exp and here we have to pass some value let's say if I pass 5 let me type exponential and let's execute this to find out the value So when you run exp5, you get this value. Similarly, you can get factorial using factorial function. So type in factorial. Here you can pass, let's say, 5. And if you execute this by clicking on run, you will get factorial of 5. Similarly, you can also get logarithm values by using log function. So use log and then 2. If you run this, you will find value of log 2, 0 0.6931472. Now, you can also specify the base to that log using base. Let's say I want log value up to base 10. If I execute this, it will show which is log to the base 10 0 0.30103. Okay, so you can get value for log and log to the base simply by using base equals to. The next is using special constants. So when you're using special constants such as pi or any other constant value like alpha or so, in such case, R gives you option to specify those option. So let's say if I use function named pi and run, it will show me the value 3.1415 93 now if I want to specify option and set the digits let's say to 10 then if I run this then it will set our R interpreter to set the pi values up to 10 digits okay and if I run again for pi then you can see that your pi value has changed so this is how you handle the special constant value using the options you can also get option related information from this option function and as you can see when you run that function you will get information on how to use that and how to get value for your particular special constant using digits and the parameters so this was a short video on how to use some of the simple mathematical functions in our programming language